Hi, I'm Wayne Young, and you're watching the Reed Brothers Band on Barn Party USA. With guests from the entertainment and music business in and around Louisville, Kentucky. So sit back and get ready for some great music, some great guests, and some great places to visit on Barn Party USA. Goddamn Mountain, welcome to Barn Party USA. Folks, get ready to watch the Reed Brothers Band. Don't move. Hello everybody, I'm Dave Yates. Welcome to Barn Party USA. We're here at Bob's Music today and uh, I've got a chance to talk with Marvin Maxwell. Marvin, we appreciate you being on with us today. Hey man, it's a pleasure. I don't get a chance to do this much. music geek thing happened because to, to tell a little story about this. It, this is about all the old stuff that was recorded at the old Sambo Studios, 9912 Taylorsville Road. J Town, and that was the recording studio that we all used back in the 60s and 70s. And well, we got a chance uh, years ago to go to Europe, and uh, actually it was uh, me and some friends. It was the old song incorporated, basically. We called it Chef and Granddad just because it was old, and uh, we got a taste of what it was like to play music over there. Uh, back in the old days, I got the opportunity to travel with. Uh, uh, two of the Dick Clark Caravan Stars tours. And things were done different in those days in the way of rock and roll shows. I'll give you an example. The second one I did, we did 30 shows in 30 days in 30 states. Think about that. That's, that's one-nighters, buddy. Yeah. The bottom line is, is, honestly, this is all I know is the music business uh, or the music fund or whatever it is. I mean, it's all I've ever done. So all things that I come up with is usually based around music. Kirby. See, it's been a while, but I'm not picture. That's the original. Oh, the, 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 the slow for is you can tinkle our keys, but bring your own stool. These don't come from me, man. This is something I've been working on for many, many years in my mind. It's real simple. That's why it took me so many years. <laughs> I think God must have knew what I wanted, which was, a, was, which was a storm to blow this tree down. I went to the back of my place, and there was a big tree down, and it was an Osage orange. And I had somebody help me, and we cut a log out of that tree. We made this first... Uh, a set of sticks out of them, which you guys probably the same as I do know as Hedge Apple. That's where the name of uh, war clubs came from, was uh, the Osage Indians used to make their war clubs out of them because they would last forever. So I'm real proud of it. I tell you honestly, I don't know whether we'll ever actually go into production with them. Like I said, i got a few guys that, that uh, I've given them out to, and I'll tell you what, you his, take, uh, take this to Mike Reed and you tell him it's on Marvin. Oh, he'll, he'll... I want him to be a yes, I to get them. So, but the for Mike Reed. Dixie Highway, the video by the Reed Brothers Band, pays tribute to some of the people, the places, and the music that spread throughout Kentucky and Indiana. The video I've seen that you did of Dixie Highway, and it, it talked about all the old times and all the, all the good musicians and little, it, it was really good that you brought that back to us. Louisville, Kentucky has always offered some of the best musicians. I just appreciate you guys kind of touching on it again. <laughs> you know, you've told me about this before, but you might tell the viewers some of the, that first birth and the... Well, that's what I didn't realize was uh, Main Street is also Highway 60. That's a state highway. We were the first ones to get a street block like what we did and what we did. Uh, for people that didn't, wasn't there. We had uh, several different clubs, and it was so groovy because you could pay your five bucks and and uh, and walk from one club to another and spend the whole evening there, and, and out in the street too. And I'm telling you what, the, the picture in the courier the next day was neat, man, because it's, it had a homeless dude pushing a, 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 a grocery cart down on Main Street, and he was in the beer cans up to his knees. <laughs> Oh man, he was he was happy as could be, man. I wish I had a copy of that picture, but that was the first birth. And, and I remember because I was afraid, well, how are we going to take money out there in the middle of the street? I had a whiskey barrel. 
Hey, what was funny, man, was when we took that deposit into the bank the next day, it stunk up the whole bank with whiskey. All that money been inside that whiskey barrel all night. I mean, they had to fumigate. Right, well, again, Marvin, we appreciate you being on the show today. Thanks for coming by. And, uh, love you, love you, love you. Had a good time. Uh, just keep it rolling. Dump some more tape in there. We're just going to be after the seven days of ranch work. Sounds great. All right. <laughs>